Hi guys and welcome back to episode number 2 of the My Club Pez 2017 series on Bits and 87 Plus. We are going to be going hard guys today. That's the aim, the first three online games of My Club and it's going to be seasons as well. So we're in for, we're in for a surprise because one... We're not rocking up with a superstar stack team, as you guys do know. If you missed the first episode, guys, um, we had a little bit of a quick look around. We didn't really do much, not much in depth, but since that first episode, I have done a lot. I have uh, run around and uh, had a look around the menu and stuff like that, and... Um, I found some interesting stuff, and actually Nep showed me some things as well, which I didn't even realise, and that is in the, uh, I think it's in the clubhouse, or contract, there's some rewards in there to get some My Club coins, which I was completely missing. Um, so the aim of today's video, guys, is to obviously go and uh, try and get out of Division 12, but I think for the first season I will be playing all 10 of the games, and uh, hopefully trying to pick up uh, a few victories along the way. So our first opponent, guys, and our team's obviously Eber, Dos Santos, Quadrado, um, Pereira, Mertesacker, Ram, also massive as the main players. His team, Lamella, De Bruyne, Rodriguez, Faguli, uh, Cahill, quite a few decent players in his team. Now, this team, um, well, our first game online anyway, and you guys will have seen it as well, the amount of GP which you acquire in the first game is absolutely ridiculous. There is one thing you will notice about this game, guys, and I did have the connection setting set to wrong, and uh, it was on free, and this game lagged like a mother, 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 but yeah, you know, you know, it lagged like hell. We thought we took the lead early on there with a nice finish from Eber, but unfortunately, it was offside and we weren't able to do it um, but yeah just putting up with laggy game uh, for the first game was very very annoying thankfully Ibra unlucky to get a shot off but it rebounds straight to the Santos who catches it on the half volley and uh, does put it into the back of the net sending us 1-0 up and you can tell by the way the frame rate is jumping around guys uh, it was just absolutely horrendous connection he is unlucky not to score that putting it just wide and uh, missing uh, an overhead kick from inside the 6 yard area I honestly do not trust Masip yet either Masip is not a very very, very good player um, for, for me in uh, well just he doesn't look good you know I always trust my goalkeepers on Pez but he was putting off some amazing saves he just was never holding it which is a problem which I've always found with Pez goalkeepers in the past two years yet again a nice rebound save uh, a reaction save sorry into the bottom corner um, does manage to uh, keep us uh, on level terms and uh, then the game does start to open up uh, sorry uh, winning terms but then he scores an absolute screamer um, there to make it 1-1 and uh, unfortunately send us into the drawing position which is something that didn't really want for the first game um i've not really had much pe practice on pez like i'm doing playing it i'm actually playing it now as, as i'm recording this video um but trying to really hard gp and, and try and get as much money because as you guys do know i'm not putting money into pez this year i'm not doing uh, uh openings i'm not i'm just gonna be doing gameplay and uh, the typical world to glory where people with no money and uh, no interest to put money in the game is the way i'm gonna be doing it so i'm gonna be farming a lot of gp i'm gonna be taking advantage of the pre-order bonuses which we do get the daily logins and uh, everything else like like that just so we can have um just we can have a bit of fun in it you know and not kill the series like we keep doing in the past well i keep doing in the past two years this second game was very interesting some nice pass and play here passing it backwards Pereira seeing the run of Quadrado Quadrado seeing the run of Ibra and somehow a nice cut inside there and a finesse into the bottom corner does put us one nil up a brilliant finish from Ibra um didn't expect him to catch it on his on his foot but he did do uh, sorry not uh, to get it past the defender which he did do still getting used to the mechanics and learning how to score it, it took me ages last year and I still wasn't that good at it guys trying to get some of the best goals you've seen um but I honestly can't remember the best goal I did score unfortunately uh, because I wasn't just not that good at um, Pro Evolution Soccer 2016. Hopefully that change has come 17 as I'm really enjoying the gameplay so far. Um, I think I played in the region of like 10 to 12 games already, uh, which is all right. And you can see, guys, like our 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 game at half time, dominating on possession and putting the ball into the back of the net. But then the lag kicked in a little bit. He took advantage of that. Ibrahimovic, the players we're coming up against, guys, in in the past two games have been ridiculous, uh, considering it's the start. And uh, you can see there he pulls it back to uh, to two one. And uh, later on, we kept on pushing. We were very unlucky here not to score. Like we bum through with uh, with Dos Santos. Ibra with a shot misses. Diving header, but reaction says by the goalkeeper does keep the score at 2-1 uh, but a goalkeeping error by me launching the ball out high through ball directly to Ibra and look at this guys a bloody scorpion kick second game into Pro Evolution Soccer, my club, uh, second game of Division 12, and just look what happens. Absolute filth of a goal. I couldn't complain. I was annoyed that the goal did uh, did happen, um, and uh, he does pull it back to 2-2, so it does unfortunately, um, well, 
cancels our two goals out, which are pretty nice goals as well, uh, which was pretty frustrating, but a brilliant finish. Game finishes 2-2. Two, two. two games, two points. We literally needed three points to get out of the division, and it took us two games to get two points, which is ridiculous, considering we are dominating possession. So another thing you guys may have noticed as well is that the, uh, the game has announced uh, Barcelona's new third kit, as you guys can see, spotted on the right hand, left hand side, sorry, and uh, it's a nice looking kit in game as well. This guy gets a rebound shot, massive yet again, palming it directly into the uh, into the uh, striker's um, path, and uh, he puts it away. Simple chance to do, but not long afterwards, we actually started getting a little bit of hang of the ball there, dribbling past his defenders. Was going to open it up with Quadrado, unfortunately missed, but the ball bounces to Eva somehow, and a little tap in the far corner does make it 1 1 and sends us back to even terms. Now, Drawing is something I do not like. You guys know that. And uh, it wasn't looking like this game was going to be a draw. Because he whips it in in the 51st minute. Over to the uh, striker sat there. Diego on the scale street makes it 2-1 and we were getting fairly dominated at this point. A brilliant cross. And a lot of people online seem to be running down the wings now. I've not really played that much Pez to see which is the, um, which is the beneficial way of doing it. Going through the middle or going down the wings. I usually, like I play a FIFA a lot, you guys know this anyway, it's not a hidden fact, but I do like to uh, to, to cut inside and run into defence, but it's totally different. This chance, guys, we've had two chances so far to put it up to 2-2. He misses a fucking open goal. I was so pissed off, it was ridiculous. And uh, we do miss. Now, thankfully, uh, a continued drive here of Ibra picking up the ball repeatedly, slots it through to Dos Santos. Dos Santos gets wiped outside the area, but he plays on, and Ibrahimovic gets on the score sheet there, guys, and uh, does put it into the back of the net bringing it up to 2-2 now that is the third bloody draw in a row we've got three points in three games but like i said guys we are going to be continuing the run in division 12 just to get used to the game before pushing up into the divisions dominating on possession usually that game we were getting absolutely uh, rampant by our opponent but we've seen what uh, the team needed guys i did decide to go for some players on loan and the first one being um i was torn between i didn't really need a center back i was looking for a left midfielder um but i saw coleman there and obviously pace is a, is a factor uh he only cost me four thousand uh, odd gp so i'm going to pick up coleman um as one of the signings. We, don't, we do need a goalkeeper, but not on loan. So we're going to sign Coleman for 10 games as the first addition to the team, uh, for sure. And then, uh, obviously, we're going to sign one more player as well, guys. Now, we've got to remember the Eber loan finishes, and that's where we're not going to be getting carried, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, so we have to go and pick a striker to try and work with. So we add uh, Coleman to the squad. He's the first player we have signed on loan. And uh, the second, play, second player, guys, is Jeremy Menez, the earless, um, earless guy, as you guys would have seen his debut for or a Bordeaux, I think it was. Uh, so that's our man, um, Coleman. No, Coleman. Yeah, Coleman and... Um Coleman and Menes brought in two Frenchmen. Hopefully that can make a change to the team, but it's two decent additions we do need to get up there and get practicing. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like rate and subscribe to me if you are not subscribed already. And we're back tomorrow with another Pez video for you guys to enjoy.